is Anamari Fandorp, and I'm your host as usual. And today we have a new guest, but from a company that we've had on before. So Dimple Digital is uh, the company name, it's such a cute name. But uh, anyway, so they're really great at marketing. And we had on one of their other uh, employees, well, founder kind of on before it, and they talked about, what did we talk about? Google my business for hospo. That's what we did. We had David on. And so now we've got Greer here with us. Greer Steele. I mean, is that the coolest name you've ever heard in your life? I just, you know, I'm dying for it. And we're going to be talking about using Facebook business suite, which was just requested the other day. And we have delivered, you know, we already had it in the works and we're going to get some really great insight on how to use this platform or this element of the platform to make your life a lot easier planning out your content for your business. So we are streaming live on multiple platforms and you can communicate with us using the comment section, the Q&A section, the chat function. Greer's happy to take questions throughout. So start dropping them in um, so we can get your questions answered. That'd be really great. So Greer, thank you so much for joining us today. I've got name MV. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you. <laughs> You're making me not want to get married. <laughs> change my name. <laughs> Don't change your name. It's too cool. Greer Steel. I mean, it's like, you know, what is that? It's crazy. Your parents were like, we've got it. We've got a name. Yeah. Oh, it's got name. it's got five E's in it, but it's like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> very unique that's for sure and I, I don't get my name mixed up very often <laughs> yeah that's amazing um so Atamaria, everyone that's joining us um I can see you guys all starting to log on we're going to do questions throughout I'm going to let Greer drive now and I'm going to pop in the background and make sure well I've got marbles in my mouth today I'm like I don't know what's going on um I'm going to make every, sure everything's working in the background so I'll let you drive Great. Thank you so much for that. Um, all right. So good morning, everybody. So today, can we all see my screen? Yes. Great. It's not in presenter view. I don't know if that matters to you or not. Yes. I'm just going to organize it now. Got to get our faces out of the way. There we go. Cool. Great. So good morning, everybody. Um, today, I'll be covering the topic using Facebook Business Suite. Um, so this is, yeah, obviously a highly requested and um, super new as well so very relevant and um just a couple of things let's see there we go so just a quick reminder um yeah so this presentation will take around 30 minutes long and obviously there'll be questions throughout um this webinar is also available to watch again via the digital boost website we'll also um, share it to our social media as well on dimple digital and um yeah ignore the 15 minute questions at the end because i decided that it's probably better throughout because then i can just bounce off you guys awesome so getting started um what is facebook business suite so um basically facebook business suite is everything to manage all your social media for Facebook and Instagram in one space. So um, they used to have Facebook Commerce Manager, Facebook Ads Manager, there's uh, Facebook Creator Studio, and um, now there's this is pretty much um, surpassed all of that, and we now have Facebook Business Suite. So you can manage and create all your content on there, you can schedule your posts, you can create a content calendar, um, yeah, so it's it's a super broad but amazing platform that pretty much simplifies everything um, that you need to know about Facebook and Instagram. So I highly recommend this for any business of any size. Um, yeah, so let's get straight into it. So how to log into Facebook Business Suite? Um, it is pretty straightforward. So um, all you have to do is simply search up Facebook Business Suite. Um, it'll take you into like a home page and there'll be a login in the top corner and you'll have to log in through your personal Facebook account and it will um, automatically associate if you've got the same contact details for your business account um, to your social media and then you'll be able to link it through that. Um, if you haven't already as well, I highly recommend linking your Facebook and Instagram platforms together because you are able to schedule both your Facebook and Instagram posts from this platform. Um, so to do that, you simply go into your Facebook or Instagram settings and you um, there is a tab there that says 
um, link accounts. So you'll be able to put in your contact details for your Facebook or your Instagram account, um, depending on what platform you're using, and then log them in together and um, connect them. So if you share stories or if you share posts and that sort of thing, um, you can choose to cross post them. So they're um, covering all your social media platforms. So moving right along, so how to understand the homepage. So I'm going to remove myself from the presentation and take you straight to Dimple Digital's Facebook business suite. Um, so this is the homepage and essentially, um, as you can see, we've got our Instagram and our Facebook platforms connected together and it tells you at the top corner. Um, now the homepage um, is pretty much just gives you a general overview of everything that you can use in the notification, uh, sorry, in the side tab on, on the left. So um, on your homepage, you'll find create a post button, create a story and the promote button. So promotes obviously for ads, create a story is for your Instagram and Facebook stories and your create a post is like posting on your, um, on the home of your Facebook or Instagram. So Facebook have actually generated um, a goals area, which is I think is a really cool um, idea, which helps you get an idea. It's like an algorithm that they work out based on your followers, your engagement, and um, the type of target audience you're reaching. They work out an algorithm of how many posts you should be posting um, per platform. So uh, yesterday, actually, I was having a look and uh, we were we reached this goal last week and now of course it's refreshed so I've got a post um, they recommend three posts on Facebook and two posts on Instagram because most of our target audience is on Facebook um, so yeah anyway that's just a cool little tip and um, so definitely have a look at that if you are using Facebook Business Suite because um, it can come up with some pretty cool recommendations on the site. Now, just below um, here, it has a to-do list. Now, your to-do list is um, quite a simple but fun little tool on your homepage where it basically tells you, um, you know, comments or uh, direct messages and things on your social media, on your Facebook and Instagram um, that you have, uh, sorry, that you haven't replied to or that are needing to be done. So as you can see, um, we've had some Father's Day comments recently. Um, that we still need to reply to, which is pretty naughty. But yeah, essentially that to-do list is a cooler way to keep you updated so you know, and you can just quickly click on them and reply to them um, straight away. So it, it um, you know, has everything that you need to know in one place. So you don't have, find yourself always scrambling or always scrolling through to make sure that you've answered all those comments and answered all those direct messages. Cool. So um this is just a little pop-up, so reach more people with this post. So this is our most recent post. So um, it works the same way for every, um, every business. It'll come up here and just have like a, we recommend, and it's basically Facebook promoting to you. It's like a little ad pop-up, um, you know, how to reach more people. So it's asking me to boost this post. So you can choose to um, do that, but just know that it's, um, you know, a pop-up ad, so um, you might not want to boost that post, so don't feel obliged to just because it's there. <laughs> um, awesome. So here is pretty much like a timeline of all our recent posts that we've done, and as you can see down here, there is a um, see all posts as well, so we can click on them to see more of a timeline. So um, recent post is pretty much just a general oversight so I can see um, what I've posted, what platforms. So here I've posted a reminder about this very um, Digital Boost Q&A session um, that we posted on our social media yesterday morning. And as you can see, it gives us an insight on how many people on Instagram have reached. It's 52 people who have received three likes, no comments. Facebook, same deal. So post at the same time, but um, we've reached more people. And oops, I just clicked on it. So if you click on them, they do give you more of an insight. So this is all... Um, organic versus paid. So we didn't boost this post at all. So we organically reached, this is from our target audience, we reached 98 people, which is pretty cool. Um, by the way, as well, just a little tip for social media as well. Don't get disheartened by these um, engagement things because, um, you know, if people don't it depends what your call to action is for your social media. But if, you know, people aren't clicking 
um, or commenting and that sort of thing. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that the post hasn't been seen and um, it doesn't mean that the post isn't successful as well. It really depends on the driver of the post and um, what you want them to do with the post. So yeah, a lot of people say, oh, I'm not getting any likes, but it's like, well, just because we haven't received, you know, we've only got two likes on this post doesn't mean we haven't reached all these people that have read it, they just haven't engaged with it. So anyway, that was just a little <laughs> sidetrack note. No, but I love that because I think it's important. There's a, it, it depends on your customers, how they engage mm -hmm. with you, isn't it? Like sometimes a lot yeah. of people, some communities, they're really big on commenting and discussing and some are more just like, oh, they do a reaction or some people are just like trolling. They're just watching what you're doing, but not really reacting. Oh, so absolutely. Very superficial, those kind of um, mm. things, aren't they? What it, they call it like, um, uh, there's a name for it, isn't it? It's like the, it's like a cosmetic or I don't know, it's something. Um, yeah, it can seem quite superficial. Like you see, um, you know, I mean, I don't know, if you look at um, Domino's New Zealand, for example, they only get like 32 likes, but they have, you know, thousands and thousands of followers. So yes. Yeah, I mean, all those people are seeing it, but they're not necessarily liking it. I mean, I'm a classic. I'm a ghost on social media. I'll just happily scroll. I'll read all the posts. I'll read the comments, you know, but I, I don't do anything about it, you know. So it doesn't I necessarily. Do the same, mean... actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So a lot of my customers, you know, they'll come to me and they'll go, oh, you know, like I'm just not getting any likes. And why doesn't anybody like it? And um, it totally depends on how you've and gone about the post as well you know if you don't tell people to like it or leave a comment or you know nine times out of ten they won't because they'll just happily scroll by so just because people haven't actually actively engaged with it doesn't mean that the message isn't coming across with them so um yeah <laughs> so that was just a little FYI I actually, there was a question. I thought we should really address it because um, it's quite um, poignant to the whole chat. So it says, do you need to subscribe to Facebook Business Suite? So um, Facebook Business Suite isn't um, a... Is that, are you meaning like in terms of sign up for the newsletter? I think they, I think they mean like, do you have to like add it on? But I think like the answer is probably that once you have a business account, it yes. comes with that business account. Oh, totally. Right? So yes. So it's a free to use tool. Um, there is no subscription fees or anything. It's simply, um, yeah, like you say, a little uh, novelty tool that you can use um, because you have a business account. So yeah. Um, all you have to do is go in and log into it. So it's, yeah, absolutely a free tool. And um, that's the beautiful thing about it is, you know, it is a hidden gem here. And um, if you don't use it, you don't receive it. You know, you don't mm. maximize it. So definitely, um, yeah. You have to have a personal account, though, to set up a business account. Is that right? Yes. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, like some people don't want to have a Facebook account. I guess in that instance, you could set up a dummy account. Like it doesn't have to be you, but you do have to have like a personal account in order to get a business page, right? Yeah. So Facebook um, works off, um, you know, people. That's who they want to connect. And um, so the way that they do that is, you know, collecting information from you and that sort of thing. So um, in terms of, yeah, if you really didn't want to use Facebook, um, but you want to have a business account, definitely set up a dummy account. Um, you can use, you know, your business email or something or your business phone number. Um, but in terms of like when you set up admin and um, assign roles for your Facebook accounts, like your business accounts, um, which I'll actually cover more in the end as well when I go down to the settings tab. But um that's that's how they assign the roles is through your Facebook profile or through your um, email or that sort of thing. So um, it is important that your employees and that you have a Facebook account to use it. Yeah, you can make people super admins. I love how they they love superheroes and the like all the tech geeks. They like making it all like super admin. <laughs> you know, like a superhero. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> follow-up question here it says can you access business suite from a mobile or does it need to be on a laptop yes no you can um so there is an app and it's yeah free to download as well and that is 
actually an awesome way because you can turn on your notifications and whenever you get a message or that sort of thing you can go on there and quickly click and reply so definitely I recommend that for businesses on the go if you you know don't want to sit down to your laptop every day or that sort of thing definitely download the app for it oh I didn't even know there was an app for it okay yeah. awesome sure all right I'll let you good. keep rolling on great okay so um yeah, so carrying on with the homepage. Um, so there are also insights that are provided. Um, this is, again, a general overview, and there is a tab um, on the left there for more in-depth insights. But in terms of um, it tells you how many people we've reached in the last month. Um, it also tells you, I mean, you can see here with our Facebook, we've um, definitely gone up in terms of our reach. So that's awesome to see. Um, and then also it tells us about our audience as well. So these are just general overviews to just track along and make sure that, um, you know, your, your social media platforms are running smoothly. Um, but they can, um, you know, they are just a general overview, so they don't necessarily um, give you the full picture. So for more detail, definitely head to the insights section. So um, finally, there's, I think, a couple more things on here. So following down on the right, we've got post activity. Um, so you can see that we've posted um, 13 posts in the last 14 days. Now that sounds crazy. We don't post every single day. It is um, adding up what's posted on Facebook and Instagram. And we tend to link both of them and post both Facebook and it, like both uh, the post on both social medias. So um, technically we only post about half of that, but um, it looks <laughs> like a heck of a lot. Um, and then as you can see, we've got two scheduled posts coming up in the mix and we have no drafts as well. So that's just a little insight, but of course you can get all this information in more depth on the um, tab on the side, which obviously we will go into a lot more detail about. I should probably just keep my thing on. There's lots of things coming in. Okay. One, <laughs> I wanted to see if we could turn our videos off and if it'll make it bigger or if you can make what you're displaying bigger. Sometimes I know that you can actually just do a scroll with the plus sign and it'll make it um a bit bigger um or your view um I made it full screen is that better um pop your thing i think it is a, for me it's not like we're not really oh that's better, that's better. <laughs> okay there you go i just zoomed in a little bit yeah um, is it, that looks much better okay, oh, okay let us know if that's not big enough um still for you um and we will adjust question from <laughs> No, that's okay. Question from <laughs> Facebook that's come in is, um, is this where you connect your pixels? Um, no. Yeah. So, yeah. So for more um, connecting your Facebook pixels is through your ads manager, isn't it? And your commerce manager. Um, so yeah, for this basically gives you like a, general overview of those sorts of things but it doesn't give you the full features of you know facebook man, um, ads manager or commerce manager so um, for more of those nitty-gritty details and um, you know facebook pixels definitely go over to there because you'll be able to um, pinpoint it better yeah and you want to link those of you who are wanting to set up their pixels you mm -hmm. basically you're going to get a code and that code is going to be input it into your website and that once it's linked you've linked it to your website in there with your specific pixel code then that will start to um, shoot out ads it kind of like works in conjunction with your website so that would be how that kind of works and if you need added support with that um, contact support at digitalboost.co.nz and we will help you with that there's so there's a question here it's like what are pixels so um, pixels yeah. are basically, that's when you're like, how did Facebook, how does Facebook know what I've been looking at online? You know, <laughs> like, how does it know what I'm thinking? Those yeah. are what pixels are. They follow you around online and show you content that yeah. they think you'll want to purchase. So yeah. that's what your pixels are. So if you're selling products and stuff like that or services, somebody's Googled that, they've done that, oh, it picks up this information and then it it kind of links to you and your ads and stuff like that. A. Yeah. That, that's right. Isn't it great? I'm that's, learning. I'm getting it. 
Yeah. <laughs> and it's actually a very simple thing to set up as well. If you are managing your website by yourself, um, all you need to do is just um, use a, the HTML code that it provides you and just um, enter it onto your website on the pages that particularly you want to track as well. So if you want to track your shop and that sort of thing, then imprint the code there. Um, if you want to, you know, do your um, booking page or something, definitely pop it in there. And then, it'll, yeah, like you say, it'll track all of that information and it'll tell you. And then that's also really cool for um, knowing where your target audience is coming from and um, knowing how to um, work your ads as well so you actually reach the right target audience. So that definitely is, it's almost like a whole nother talk, isn't it, Greer? You know oh, what, I'm going to line that up for you guys. I know we've covered yeah. it in bits and pieces in sessions, but I'll yeah. make sure that there's a whole thing on Facebook pixels and how we can use them like, you know, better <laughs> and how to do it. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. But, yeah. So there's a question here. Yeah, you got it, Amber. No worries at all. Um, if you have business manager and you manage multiple Facebook pages, mm -hmm. can you not access business suite? Question mark. Okay. That's the first question. Yeah. Um, and then the comment after that is when I try to log into business suite, it takes me straight to business manager. I've been using creator studio separate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Cool. So a, yes, I manage, uh, I've got several, um, Facebook business suite accounts of, um, you know, business platforms that I manage. So the answer is yes. And it is literally actually I'll go up and I have to make it smaller for a second. So it's literally as simple as going to the top left, clicking here, and then you can scroll down and see all the ones that I manage. And you can literally just click on it and it switches over um, straight away and gives me all the information about it. So definitely um, very simple, very streamlined. So you don't have to, you know, remember all your logins and that sort of thing. Oof, thank um, you. <laughs> Now, the second thing about the um, it takes you to business manager. So I was actually talking to David about this because I don't quite understand it fully. But what I do know is that for some people, um, it can uh, take you to the old version. Um, yeah, because business manager was, that was before business suite. Yeah. 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 So yeah. for some reason, you know what? Facebook is tricky like this where yeah. they'll play around to see if people are going to use a feature, like there was a while where you could, you could like share your stories on both things and then platform, like it allowed it, it was doing some things and I was going, Oh, that's really cool. And then I went to do it again and it, it wouldn't let me do it. Yeah. And I was talking to one of our social media experts and he was saying that they do things like that, where they put mm -hmm. things out there and they trial it. And mm -hmm. if lots of people use it, they'll then maybe launch that later. So you might find that some things are not always. Yeah, definitely. So um, I had the same trouble with a client recently that I worked with and it just kept taking her to the old version. And um, so it definitely is still um, something that is trial and error. And there are a couple of things that come and go from Facebook Business Suite. Like um, I used to be able to tag businesses and products. Um while yeah. scheduling a post and now it's like disappeared I'm like what is going on so you like to keep us yeah. on our toes don't they you know definitely so um yeah do keep that in mind <laughs> um but yeah it definitely is um such a new platform as well so features do come and go and they do test the waters quite a lot with this one as well but it's normally for the better <laughs> yeah if you if yours isn't updated like um you know yeah, because they're saying, ah, it's taking me to the old one. Mm. So, um, yeah, I would just keep checking back on that because, yeah. you know, scroll down, like have a look. Sometimes it's up in it. You know, I feel like it was down below before, but now it's up top. And just really just keep a fresh eyes on the page when you when you log in. Yeah, that's exactly what happened to my client as well. It just suddenly appeared one morning. She woke up, logged in, thought, oh, this isn't going to work. And next thing you know, Facebook business suite was right there. So you know, it definitely is something that will, it's like Christmas day. It'll just come. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Go for it. I'm actually looking up links for folks. So I'll let you keep rolling on. Um, and... Sweet. So 
Right, we just, I'll just zoom in as well for those that can't see as well. So we just finished post activity. So the next thing, and this is probably one of my favorite features, um, is the content calendar. So um, this is a great feature to visualize your social media and see um, when your post is scheduled, what ones you have posted in the past. So for example, we're here on Friday at the moment, but you can see that Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, um, all at varying times, we posted certain things on both our Facebook and Instagram accounts. And um, this is great because you can, um, you know, just see um, what days work and that sort of thing and also plan in the future what days you should post. And um, yeah, so it's definitely um, a great feature to use, but we'll go into more detail later because it does pop up in a tab. Um, but this is like the general overview of what you'll see. So you can see it by um, weeks or, you know, check in for next week and that sort of thing. And then scrolling down. So recent ads that we've done. So as you can see, um, one that we've got going on at the moment is for our Saw Mabel website, which we recently um, finished. Um, and it tells you um, the amount that's spent, the amount of people that it's reached and um, the cost per result as well. So you can just, this is like a really basic overview of um, essentially what Ad Manager um, provides. But you can, yeah, just if you're, you know, in a rush and you just want to see how your um, ad went, you can just scroll down here and it will tell you. Um, so on the right, these are just fun little updates on um, what's available to um, Business Suite. So adding multiple photos and videos to your story. That's a very, yeah, new feature. We we're actually, um, Anna Mari and I were talking about it before. Um, and I'll go into more detail about how you can schedule stories, but um, it's a great feature and it just automates your whole um, social media as well. So it's really cool. And yeah, there's other little um, features there. And then upcoming appointments. So you can actually um, link, this is a new feature to Facebook, I believe, but you can link um, if you've got a booking um, feature or service um, for your business, you can now link um, your booking to your Facebook page. And then also it'll come up here and tell you what upcoming appointments and stuff that you have from Facebook. So um, yeah, that's just super cool just helps the whole process so that's pretty much the home page that's um yeah that's i'll just I'll sorry i'm always <laughs> i'm always jumping on that's the right. sessions always pop i'm telling you <laughs> so the question here is regarding tagging other businesses and products mm -hmm. um when you create a post in business suite mm -hmm. how do we do this now that the function is unavailable yes so um actually i'll show you that now this is a good time so um, here you can see there's uh, create a post, create a story and promote. So if I click on create a post, um, it takes me straight to this organization platform. And essentially you can click here where exactly you want to um, create your post. So you can, um, you know, choose, oh, I just want it on Instagram or I want it on both. Um, and that's exactly where it will pop up. You can write your text in here, add your photo, video, et cetera, et cetera, add your location. Um, and this is a great little area because it will show you, um, you know, what it will look like on Facebook versus what it will look like on Instagram. Um, so you can just see that, you know, it, it'll, you know, how it's presented before you post it. So in case, you know, oh, I forgot to add a space there or that sort of thing, you can check it all here. Um, it pretty much gives you like a, you know, a virtual reality of what it will turn out to be. So um, now what I've found with tagging products and tagging people or um, businesses, so you can still do, if you do the at symbol and um, write their business so dimple digital for example um oops, see it's not coming up with this but um dimple digital anyway if you type in their um username it'll come up in the text and you can tag them in the text so it's um Actually, I get asked this all the time. What's the difference between tagging them in the photo versus tagging them in the text? So tagging them in the text is great for if you want to give them a specific shout out or go, you know, hey, um, 
you know, thanks to so-and-so photography um, for taking this photo or, you know, so on and so forth. Um, so it brings, it alerts the target audience or customer that you're trying to reach that that's exactly um, where you got it done or, you know, what, what the brand is or et cetera. Um, and then if you want to tag it in the photo, um, obviously once you've added the photo, you used to be able to just click on the picture. Um, I'll see if I can give you an example. This is a post that we had from August. We'll just wait for it to upload. And then you used to be able to, so there's, here's the little tool. So this is the editor, tag and delete. So here, oh, well, there you go, it's popped up back. But if you just literally click on it and I can say, um, I wanna tag David Brim as well, my boss, um, then he's tagged in it. This used to actually not be available, so it has come back. Um, and then underneath as well, if you've got a um, e-commerce business, you can tag products as well. And so, you know, um, which is also a great feature. So yeah, sometimes every now and then this feature comes and goes, but, um, Basically, if, it, if the feature doesn't show up for you, um, I just recommend posting it and then going in and tagging it because you can still do it from Facebook or Instagram. You can still edit the post and then click on the photo and tag people that way. Yeah, cool. So it looks like it's working um, working, working <laughs> yeah. for both because somebody said, I think you can only use it for just Facebook, but I mean, obviously you've got both selected right now. Yeah. Um, so there, there's a uh, couple of questions here. Mm -hmm. If posting in both Facebook and Instagram together, does mm -hmm. the business suite automatically adjust the photos media that you want to upload? Good question. So I get asked this all the time. Um, I recommend, so the best thing to consider is that um, a big photo can go smaller, but a small photo can't go bigger because um, of the pixelation translation. So um, I definitely recommend going from um, Instagram photo square size to Facebook because then it will um, translate quite nicely and it'll keep to the Instagram size. Um, and um also it's yeah so facebook has bigger photo sizes or big um bigger pixels so um when you go from facebook to instagram it'll crop the image and it, you know people um tend to not be as happy with that result so i definitely recommend going from instagram to facebook because then yeah. facebook will just chop off whatever um yeah it'll like it'll grab the full frame from the instagram <laughs> size but it'll, you know, appear slightly smaller on Facebook, but still get the same result. So, yeah. Okay, cool. That was a great question. Um, we have a question here. It says, I've been using Facebook Business Suite for a while now. I find that I need to post twice um, separately on Facebook and Insta because of the photo proportion difference. So mm -hmm. that solves that problem. So just keep it all Insta size and then yeah. you won't have to do that. Mm -hmm. um, also, oh. also remember that Greer just showed you those views. So you can have a look before you schedule your post and mm -hmm. you will be able to see how it looks. So if it doesn't look good there, then it's not going to look good when it goes through. Um, yeah. oh, so just a couple of things to jump off with that as well. This mm -hmm. is the um, size of the photo. So it tells me, and that is the Instagram sizing, standard Instagram sizing. So you can actually see it when you go into edit, you can change the photo size. Um, so this square is recommended because that is Instagram size. So it, um, it's recommending that to me because I'm doing both Facebook and Instagram. Mm. Um, and my original is already square because I use Canva before I do my posts mm. and I choose the Instagram um, template. So it's already um, adjusted to that square sizing. So I tend to, yeah, don't run into those problems. But then this size um, is... Uh, tends to be what Facebook uses for videos. It go it cuts to that smaller size, and then this vertical size is um, standard size for Facebook posts. Mm, yeah, great. Yeah, That's great. Nice yeah. So the question, another question here is, um, so so the well second part of this it says also it won't let you post on Insta if you have um, add link in the post. So um, do you mean, can you do a follow-up on that, Naomi? Are you talking about like in your post, you've got what, like a link to a website or something? Um, is that? 
Yeah, so I feel like I understand what she's saying because I, I run into the same trouble. So, for example, if I copy this URL link and yeah. I'm going to say, you know, go to Facebook to check out this article and then I copy and paste it into the text, um, what it'll do sometimes, oh, there you go, it gives you a link preview so you can see that it... Um, that it's clickable so from facebook um, links are always clickable but from instagram um, they don't translate the same way so they aren't clickable from instagram um, so the user can still when they see it in your um, post they can still copy and paste it but it is a lot more admin it's not clickable so that's just something to keep in mind that's yeah. probably why it's not letting you okay um, cool. yeah um, can you tag something like if it, if it's a product photo shop and it connects, um, to your Shopify site? Um, yes. So the way that, um, hmm. your e-commerce site works is, um, when you upload all your products, if you've got a Facebook shop, you can, um, you actually, yeah, that's the only way that you can tag your products is if you're connected to Facebook shop. So um, then you can do this through several ways. There are like you can um, work with it through uh, Google, Google My Business, and you can work it through um, if you've got a Shopify website or something that is compatible to Facebook shop. So Shopify is quite simple. It'll literally, um, it's all streamlined. All you have to do is click um, add my shop and then it'll um, take the photos from your website and put them onto your Facebook shop and it'll um, know your product description and all that sort of thing. So it is very simple with Shopify. And then you'll, um, yeah, so then you'll be able to literally go into here where the tagging is, it'll come up with tag product. You'll be able to type in the title of that product and um, it'll tag like that. So it is quite straightforward with um, Shopify. Yeah, you have to have a website to be able to have um, Facebook shops or Instagram catalogs because you can do the same on Instagram as well. Yes. So, but it's highly recommended. And um, we did do a session with um, Primo Digital on Facebook catalogs and Instagram shops. Mm -hmm. um, there was a lot of information in that talk. So um, go and check that one out on the main dashboard of Digital Boost. So that's really cool. Um, so that they said, cool, thank you. Is there any app tool software to prepare a picture for the three Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and ideally post to all platforms on certain dates? That's like two different questions. There's two yeah. things there, right? Because you can use Canva yeah. to do that, but then yeah. you you could push out from Canva, but you'd have to get the pro series of that. So you'd have to pay for that. Yeah. Um, but you could create on Canva. Stop me if I'm wrong here. I'm, I, I love yeah. this. Um, and then you could use something like Hootsuite or something like that, couldn't you? Do they, does wow. that, does that um, go to Pinterest as well? I know. I think so. So the best way to um, understand it is that Facebook owns Instagram. So they're always going to make the products compatible with each other because, um, you know, they'll be foolish not to. So you'll always be able to post them together. But then in terms of your LinkedIn, your Pinterest, all those sorts of other social media platforms, your TikTok, um, yeah, you don't, they, um, they won't ever be schedulable, <laughs> if that's a word, um, from your Facebook business suite. So, yeah, definitely um, have a look into other platforms like Hootsuite um, where you are able to schedule them. And then, yes, the Canva as well, definitely that's 110% my favorite tool um, just because I am, I think it's all free for this photo sizing. Um, but like you say, with the scheduling, that's when it comes to a cost. Um, but yeah, I, I love it in terms of my photo sizing because I'm able to find um, a photo size that is compatible across all of them. So that's why I use the Instagram size. But um, for Pinterest and stuff, it will be a little bit different. But they've got all of them up there as well. Um, how do you work out the peak posting times to use in scheduling? Oh, love this question. Um, yeah. So I will, I will go into more detail. It will be in the insights tab. 
But basically, uh, Facebook creates an algorithm and it'll show you for both Facebook and Instagram. Um, and you can check them on your Facebook and Instagram business accounts without using Facebook Business Suite. But essentially, um, it'll work out and it won't do it straight away. So if you've got a new business, um, give it a month or so before it works out the algorithm for your website or sorry, your social media. But um, essentially, it'll... Um, find when your target audience is most active, whether they follow you or not. So it'll, based on their interest, their, you know, job or, you know, those sorts of things, it works out and collects the ideal time for that target audience. So say, you know, um, for um, Dimple, we have a lot of business professionals that follow us. So their best time is actually probably after work at like 7 p.m. Um, or it is actually like around 10 a.m. because, you know, they're scrolling through their business profiles um, while they're at work. So we tend to post around those times to make sure we reach those audiences. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cool. Great question as well. That was a really um, important. Yeah. Um, it, so this is an interesting question. And so it says in the right hand, in the, in the right hand top corner under our business name, it says create business account, but it already is the business account. When and why would you add a business account here? Oh, good I'm wondering if you've set up a personal account, but named it your business. Yeah. Um, and then that is why it's prompting you to like, do you have access to all of these tools under that account? Um, because really, uh, yeah, like that, would, I, I don't know what your thoughts are on that. Grima. Yeah, um, it'll definitely be based on how you've set up the account. And um, yeah, I've had a few incidences there um, where it will be dependent on the details that you've provided and um, the account that you're running it with. Um, so yeah, definitely just double check your contact details, your account that you're using um, and make sure that, um, yeah, it should um, be more clear once that's all sorted out. Cause I've definitely found that it's normally to do with that, <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, let's have, I would actually, I would recommend for you to contact um, support at digitalboost.co.nz and they can walk you through it because they can actually have a phone conversation with you. Um, you can do a Zoom thing and share your screen and they can help you really sort that out individually. So that might be the best method. Yeah, so we've got heaps. <laughs> okay, it's definitely a business account. Okay, I would contact support um, and they will help you sort that out. Um, working on PSD, is there best size for pictures? Pinterest recommends 1,000 by 1,500 pixels. How about Instagram? Yeah, so um, Instagram is 1,080 pixels by 1,080, so it is square. Um, Sorry, what was the rest of the question? There? I think I think I think it's that working on PSD. Is that Photoshop or something? What's PSD? Yeah, yeah. I was trying to. Figure I don't know what that acronym is, but um, is there a best size for pictures? Pinterest recommends, um, and Instagram. Yeah, so it's they're working on Photoshop. Well, good for you because you're already like a higher level <laughs> than me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's your CV. That's a good one. <laughs> I mean, if Pinterest, I guess like the thing is here, if Pinterest needs um, that kind of specifically, you know, those ranges, then you might have to um, create different posts. I'm not sure because. Right. So, okay. So I think, yeah. So in terms of um, like the, the works or the, like the best one that works across all platforms. Um, I definitely think it would be smaller rather than larger because larger images like the, you know, the Facebook standard size um, will crop on Instagram and you will miss, you know, um, some details that, you know, you find important in the photo. So mm -hmm. definitely work with something that is smaller, but not, um, yeah. So I think Instagram is the standard recommended size, particularly because it is square as well. Hopefully that helps. <laughs> yep, that's perfect. Okay, we're all good. Keep going. <laughs> okay. we're done. I don't know. Um, awesome. So yeah, so in terms of um, creating a post, obviously there is a prompt on your homepage, but there is also um, several other prompts on the tab on the left side. So I will go into more detail about it then. 
Um, so just one last thing as well to note, um, I'll just show you here quickly. You can also see what it looks like for a mobile preview as well versus a computer. I just thought this was a really cool tool as well when you are posting. Um, so yeah, that's just an insight of what it'll look like. And then obviously I can look at Instagram as well. And this is what it'll look like on Instagram. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go out of create a post and um, talk about notifications now. This is just gonna be a quick um, moment. This is essentially um, where it'll tell you what photos have been like. So you can see here, 19 hours ago, um, the recent post that we posted about Swim Able was liked. Um, we've got, you know, a couple of likes on this one. And it's just a notifications about, you know, there might be messages, there might be, um, you know, people you may know's kind of notifications um, across Facebook and Instagram. Um, so I don't really tend to look at my notifications area because my to-do list on the homepage does that for me. It'll tell me what I actually need to focus on. Um, but this is just a nice to know moment. Now, moving on to inbox. Now, this is quite a... Um, a cool little feature here. It basically has your messenger and your Instagram direct messages for your business um, account all in one spot. And I love this because I can just sit down and, um, you know, reply to all the, um, you know, private messages or um, comments and that sort of thing in this area. So, um, yeah, so as you can see, this is for all messages, but then I can also go across and click on just what's from Messenger, just what's from Instagram, um, all the uh, Facebook comments I need to reply to, all the Instagram comments I need to reply to. Um, and this is, yeah, just a super simple way to keep everything in one place to answer all those comments and messages and make sure that your communication across your social media um, is coherent, or sorry, cohesive, I should say. And then this final feature, chat plugin. So this is quite new, and this is something that... Um, I think is very, very cool. So um, when you set up your chat plugin, this is for your website. So you can actually collect, you can see, um, this is our um, HTML code for our, uh, sorry, our, you know, uh, dimples um, URL link, that's the word. And um, so all you have to do is enter it in there and um, you can, you know, just click the setup button and Facebook will take you right through. So you basically have that um, messenger feature on your um, website. So that can be such a handy tool um, just to help, you know, with customers that need something to find on their website, uh, on your website, or just, you know, want to ask a question or something. Um, and it's definitely, there are other, um, platforms that you can use but um, Facebook does have their own and you can actually create automated responses as well with Facebook um, which I really like personally so you can um, choose the available hours which is really cool so um, you know if you're away or that sort of thing customers will be notified when they message you um, and you can also come up with automated responses so that was um, in your inbox in your top right corner um, so you can do, you can choose if it's an insta, um, instant reply or, you know, if you're away and, you know, for your Christmas hours or something like that, and someone messages you while you're on your holiday, um, this will just send them a message saying, hey, you know, we're um, closed at the moment, we'll be open on, you know, da 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 date, and you can change this message as well, as you can see down here, um, there's edit messages, and um, it'll just give you a preview you here with your mobile phone which is awesome um, and you can obviously add your contact information location hours there's um, heaps of little details here um, that you can fill in and if somebody facebook is really clever like it'll um, if someone just wants to um, send positive feedback it'll pick up on the positive tones and reply with an automated message of um, something you know positive like thank you for your positive feedback um, and if it's negative as well, be, you know, we're sorry to hear that and it can um, send an automated message, but only if you turn it on. Um, and then same with appointment reminders. Now, this is a great little feature if you're a service and you require bookings and you've got a booking um, platform on your Facebook or our website, you can click reminders here and it will say, you know, hey, your um, nail appointment is in, you know, 
20 minutes, not 20 minutes, is normally you can choose like 24 hours before or a couple hours before that sort of thing and send them an automated um, reminder. So yeah, automated responses are a great little feature to just keep in mind and it's all available on your business suite account um, and it just helps you streamline that service to make sure that, you know, your whole brand is um, cohesive and um, together and looking um you know, presentable without you having to worry about it 24-7. That's pretty much why Business Suite exists, you know, just to make everything so streamlined and so simple when it comes to managing your social media. So moving on from Instagram, this section, posts and stories, this is the most important, um, to me anyway, um, part of Facebook Business Suite. So um yeah so there's quite a lot to cover here so we've got you can look at your posts your stories your um your feed and your grid and your facebook photos so i'll cover all of these and i'll also cover the differences between published scheduled and drafts so as you can see here um so on your home screen you have the opportunity to create a post there but you can also come over here and create a post um, or a story so um, basically this area is telling me at the moment what um, post that Dimple Digital has posted currently or that's published or live on your social media. So, um, you know, we've recently, again, um, it tells me about the Facebook and Instagram posts that we just did yesterday. Um, it'll give me some brief insights like the, um, the reach or the engagement that we've got, um, the likes and the reactions and all that. Um, so this is like, again, just a general overview. Um, and it's just helpful to see how current posted and versus what you need to post in the future. So that's your published. Um, the second one is... Oh, just wait for it to load. So scheduled is basically, this is my favorite feature of business suite of all time. Um, I'm able to schedule my posts. You can schedule them a year in advance kind of thing, but I like to um, get all my posts ready for the month. I tend to sit down on a Monday for, you know, the start of the month and I'll prepare all my content on Canva and um, I'll write all my um I'll upload them to Milano which um, I can go more detail if you guys are interested but basically I post um it's like a massive notepad basically and then I prepare all the captions there as well so I link up the captions with the posts and then when I'm ready and um it's a collaboration space as well so my boss and my um, co-workers can see it and I'll just go hey David you know do you like what these look like and then He'll give me the go ahead and that sort of thing. And then I can schedule them on here. I don't know if, it, if it's big enough for anyone else. I just but... simply, um, I simply call her. Is my internet unstable? Yeah, I think so. I think that that's oh. yeah, laggy for me too. Yeah, like um, I just missed what the collaborative tool was. Maybe turn off your video because stop your video, but keep your share screen on. And that might like give us a bit more. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little bit. So it's okay. We'll try that. But Greer, what, what tool did you, collaborative tool? So you said you use Canva and then. Oh, now it's like. Yeah, so sorry, you're going to see my ball photo from year 13, but <laughs> um, I actually, I might just, yeah, anyway, so um, I'll turn off my phone. Um, yeah, so the collaborative tool that I use, so obviously I use Canva to create them and make them all aesthetic, and then when I've I'm ready and I've got my all my visual tools prepared. Then I move on to Millinote. And Millinote is a free to use service. Um, and it's essentially like a um a massive um what would you call it? Like a visual chalkboard almost. Like you can put you can put all your images up and then you can um write all your content or your um you know all your wording or text that you would like to put for your post as well. And then I can also tag all my coworkers and I can say, you know, hey, would you mind reading this and editing it? Or, you know, David, do you like this? Can I post it or schedule it? And um, 
So it's a great way to visualize what it will look in terms of aesthetics, but it's also a great way um, to make sure that all my captions are prepared in advance and they can just sit there as a draft, if you will, um, until I'm ready to schedule them. And um, so once they're ready to schedule, I just pop onto here and I'll just simply go create a post. And it comes up with, because I'm scheduling a post, it comes up with a date and a time. So, you know, say I want to do one for next Monday and I want to do it at my peak um, customer's time. So I'll do 10 a.m. and I'll save it. And so then it's ready to schedule for that time. Um, and then, yeah, same thing with the creative post. You just go through, you choose if it's Facebook or Instagram, you choose the photo, you copy and paste your text if you're using Milanote and, um, you know, Bob's your uncle from there. So um, scheduling is so so great because it just automates everything I you know I'll be at the supermarket or doing other work and it just automatically pops up and then I start getting likes and it's like oh this is just so easy um, <laughs> so I definitely definitely recommend scheduling your posts on here this is definitely the main feature of uh, Facebook business suite that um, if it's your one takeaway today use this tool I am really excited about this Milanote and I've popped it in the chat for everyone. Um, so you have a link to that site um, that it's free. I'm very excited about that. And, um, you know, we were just talking about scheduling posts and I was, say I was saying that I was using Google Sheets, you know, and I do it that way. But yeah. I've just had a quick look at that website and it looks like, oh, it'd be so much better, like such a better visual aid to work with. Um, yeah. Yeah. So really cool. Actually, oh. I'll pop it up for you guys. I'll show you what my month looks like. Um, I'm sure. Yeah, David that'd be great. Month. Thanks. Yeah, no, it's okay. So I just, um, my site's already logged in. You can actually create several boards as well. So um, if you want to create, um, like, for example, this, this is just our social media, but we're, if we, this is Dimple social media, but because we manage other social media accounts, we also have other boards for um, our other clients. So um, yes. there's a homepage to this, but I specifically focus on Dimple social media. So that's why it comes up for me. Um, we write our like target audience here and our content pillar ideas there just as a side note, but this is pretty much like where all our um, posts are prepared and uploaded. So these are all my Canva templates I've uploaded and then I just click them in and it's literally as simple as dragging a new column. Oh, cool. I'm so um, cool that you're doing this for us. Yeah, like you yeah. change the color. I, I tend to go color theme for per month, you know, like pinks this month. And then um, I'll name, I'll title the um, post that I'm doing. So for example, this could be uh, weekly specials or something, I don't know. And then, um, and then this is my text. This is where I write my caption for the post. And I, you know, um, oh, hello. Um, <laughs> You get constant updates and emails as well about, you know, all the new features of Milano. It's constantly um, updating as well, but it is such a great service. And then if I've got a photo, um, all I need to do, like I can just drag them across um, or I can upload them as well. I can upload a file or upload an image. Um, yep. You know, so say D David wants me to write a blog post about something and he's got a great idea. He'll just pop a link in for the inspiration in here and I can just simply um, click on it and go. Like um, for example, here, you know, we've got some, um, you know, uh, Tureo phrases and stuff, which is awesome. Um, or, you know, I can upload links to clickable and here. So these are great. I, you know, we write little comments like, um, you know, Dave is just letting us know that he's already published this blog into our LinkedIn. Um, and I can just comment back to David and, you know, and go sweet <laughs> and, you know, send and he'll just get an email or a notification um, to say, that it's all ready to go, um, you know, and, and it's just a super fun and simple way to collaborate with your team, especially if you're working online. Mm. Um, so yeah, highly, highly recommend this. Mm. Yeah, cool. So um, you just keep moving to the right. Is that how it happens? Like, you know, or oh, so. Yeah. So this is never ending. Like it's kind of like Excel. You can go yeah. up, down, round and round. Like it's just, Wow. Um, it's great. And, you know, if I want to change this one to go after this one, I can just drag it. Um, if, 
there's any changes, I'll get a notification um, mm -hmm. and I can just go and click. And can you see this little red dot? It'll tell yeah. me there was a change to here. Um, okay. so I was tagged in here to say, here's the phrase book. And it just, it's a great way to, so you know exactly where the changes are made. Um, okay. Yeah. And um, yeah, obviously you can shorten them or make them link there. And I mean, here's our future posts. So we put them underneath our current monthly posts just so it's visually easier to see. But um, it's definitely, yeah, this is a game changer in terms of social media. Like it's so yeah. helpful to visualize. Greer, let me ask you a question. Um, there's a question here about, can you change the text on Facebook posts compared to the Instagram posts? So when you're in Facebook Business Suite, um, are you able to change those, change the text for each one, i.e. remove the hashtags on the Facebook posts um, that you want to remain on the Instagram post? I see. Okay. I was, uh, yeah. So I believe you can. So let's go on to create a post. So yeah, we're going to post at 11.59. So here, if I want to do specifically Facebook text, um, yeah. I can just write in, you know, um, you know, hey, Facebook followers, da-da-da. And then if I want to do Instagram, um, I click over onto the Instagram side. Oh, if it'll let me oh I think you just got to select. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> and then oh, I can Oh, okay. Do, I didn't know you could do that. Thing. Cool. Yeah. I know Facebook's got everything, honestly, highly recommend. <laughs> Very cool. Because yeah. a lot of times if you're tagging people, it'll um, like, they have a different tag on Instagram or Facebook. You know what I mean? Oh, so, absolutely. Like, different at signs and yeah, yeah. definitely. And um, yeah, obviously you can check. Oh, actually, duh, cool. this is a really cool feature. So if you click on the little hashtag icon in the top right corner here, yeah. um, you can see all the trending hashtags or all but the recent, recent ones. Or just changed our lives. I know. And you can <laughs> save them. So if you've got some, you know, um, I don't know, hashtag dimple digital or something, um, I can save it in here and then just quickly, quickly um, add it. So super easy um i just go in here and search for a trending hashtag so um i'm gonna search up Ooh. guys we just saved a step here because we were talking <laughs> about googling hashtags i mean like that's how i've always been taught to do it yeah um, this is really cool. and finding trending and oh it's it's honestly it takes a good day out of your life sometimes you know but yeah. this is definitely like facebook's onto us they know what we want so this is so cool so I've just searched up um, Digital Boost and it's giving me all these trending hashtags. You can see here Digital Boost is trending on Facebook, but then um, Digital Boost, oh, sorry, that's not trending. Uh, let's find a trending one. There's not so many oh trending gosh, on not Instagram. Trending. Yeah. But I'm going to save this one. So I just push this little flag button um, just so in the future, um, you know, I can go, if I go into saved, there it is. And I can just click on it, tick it, add it, done. Yeah. So easy. So, so easy. So yes, definitely, definitely pop onto those hashtags. Oh, yeah. Because I guess I've always used the text feature on the left, but customizing it for each platform would be way better. Yeah. Oh, hundred percent. No, it's, it's, yeah, I honestly, I can't, I can't even believe that feature myself sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Well, we don't have, is there anything else you want to show us? I know you were kind of like wrapping up. Great tip. Game changer. It is indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag <glad> great tip. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm um, glad I could give that to you. Um, yeah, there are, there are quite a few other things I just want to cover, but um, you know, obviously here's the draft section so if I'm not quite happy with a post and you're not using Milanote then um, definitely you know create a post and just save it as a draft and it's here ready to pick up and ready to edit for later so definitely a great little area um, so stories I know um, people wanted to cover stories as well so I'll just quickly go over this mm -hmm. so um, you can see here there's a tab for active scheduled and archive so active is what's currently running on your stories um, and it'll just pop up here with little squares of, you know, what you've um, currently got going and you can check them out yourself or you can create them here. So it runs pretty much like how um, 
the creating a post does you click on if you want to share them to both of them um you can add your media i you know I, I mean, you can, there's two things to this. I mean, obviously you can schedule videos if you want to talk to your audience and that sort of thing, or you can schedule promotion um, stories and that sort of thing. But I also always recommend to my clients, definitely make sure that when you're posting to stories, this is the place that um, it's one-on-one -on -one personal contact with your audience. So this is where they will reply to those DM, like they'll DM you and they'll, you know, interact with you a lot more than your posts. So making sure that it's um, authentic and, um, you know, not too um, scheduled, shall we say, then um, it definitely helps as well. Mm. So, um, but yeah, this is such a great tool in terms of, you know, if you've just got a couple of things you want to put in your story, definitely definitely do it you can see um, your scheduled ones here obviously and then you can see your archived ones so ones that you've previously done um, and it'll tell you the date that it was published and um, it'll tell you what platform it was done on and finally it'll tell you your viewers now the viewers part only works um, I think it's a week after you've done it and then it uh, removes it because it's no longer relevant information but it's just a nice to know um, so yeah, that's pretty much, I mean, there's also commerce um, ads and calendar and all that, but commerce takes you to the commerce manager. So um, it doesn't actually offer any features on here at the moment. And um, ads, you can do, you know, your basic boosting your posts and um, create an ad through here as well. So super, super simple. You can literally click on um, a post or a story that you've already done and um, promote it as well. So um, once it's been posted. Um, so yeah, definitely a cool feature. Have a play around with it. Um, the content calendar as well. Sorry, I know I'm rushing through this. Um, it's just a lot, you know, it's a it's, huge thing. We should do a part two, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> should, we, should we meet up? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to um, do, we can book in a part two because, um, yeah. because I think a lot of those things are really important. We did have another request to do another Facebook ads. And, um, you know, mm -hmm. if you'd be willing to do those bottom ones, then, cause we are like six minutes over. I know folks don't yeah. have as much time, um, yeah. but maybe we book in like a second session and we go through those analytics and we go through, you know, that, would you, would that be okay? I'm putting oh, you on the spot. <laughs> oh no, that's okay. I appreciate that. I wasn't, I was honestly, I was like, oh, how many people are going to, you know, ask questions, but I'm so glad this popped off. Because we always get so many questions when it comes to Facebook and Instagram. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of aware of that, but I, I myself didn't realize what, um, what a huge thing we were getting ourselves into. Oh. Okay. So we're just getting everybody going part two, please. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, we will make I, it. I'd we will make it happen for you. Features. Yeah, honestly, like it's not worth me doing little detail. It's definitely yeah, something that. Yeah, I will. Let's deep dive. Do. Let's deep dive. Okay, I think that <laughs> awesome. that is enough for us to digest for today. Um, yeah. We're getting lots of thank yous. Like, thank you, Greer. I've learned so much. Yes, please. Part two. Thank you. Awesome session. Definitely going to implement what I've learned today. Awesome. Thanks. Great session. Really helpful. Great oh, idea. Oh yeah. Oh like all this this has been such a fabulous <laughs> session and thanks guys for just all your thank yous it's really lovely thank you this has been amazing so yeah. we'll book in we'll book in that session i'm going to try and see if i can we can get it in relatively soon um stay tuned i'll let you know when that's happening um yeah we'll book it thanks Greer. i put you right on the spot with that one no girl. you're right it's fine oh you've honestly it made my day so that's great i'm i feel very happy that i'm helping a lot of people here so i'm yeah. more than happy to um go over a part two absolutely let's okay, do it okay cool <laughs> let's do it all right so we're gonna do a part two so we'll leave it at that <laughs> yeah even though people on facebook are going part two part two <laughs> okay, so um yeah so we're gonna leave it at that for you guys um you might want to go back and rewatch some of it and all of that so that you can play around have a play around because you know you learn by doing and that's why we do this we learn it so we can do it and then boost it right like that's our whole thing so oh, Greer thank you so much for all your time today it's been absolutely fabulous you did you tackled a massive thing today um, and <laughs> I'm looking you. forward to the second part and um, to everyone out there have a wonderful weekend um you know stay safe and yeah kakite everyone yeah kakite thank you so much awesome